Hey guys, how's it going guys? It's your boy Yashvi as we be Convig Maker. So if you're new to this channel guys, please like the video, share the video and hit that subscribe button and also ring the bell notification, okay? So without any further ado guys, in this uh, brand new video, okay, in this uh, educational lesson video, I'm gonna teach you how you're gonna make a config, how you're gonna make a TLS config, okay? Okay, we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna do this website, American Muscle. All right, so I'm going to do inspect element right here. Go to network performance and right here. I'm going to hit continue. All right. And then all I got to do, I got to stop it right here. Okay, so here's here's a little checkbox that I needed like this, the raw. Okay, here we can see it, it has like uh, this. In the payload, it has something like um, the request verification token, and we have result one, blah, blah. Okay. So, guys, you ready? So, what you, uh, what you want to do is you want to launch your silver bullet. Uh, make sure that Right. and I'm gonna create American muscle let's say TLS okay so first thing first guys what you want to do is you wanna switch to lally script you wanna set use proxy it should all be into yeah as you can see now it highlighted yeah okay so set proxy sometimes you'll have to set proxy user true that means it's gonna utilize a proxy so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna leave it on the false then i'm just gonna create another function key right here i'm gonna uh set proxy right here set proxy i'm, I'm just gonna rename it so is this gonna be basically your user username user and password okay proxy user pass and then that's gonna be your IP port so make sure that you enter this like that okay I'm gonna show you full step by step guys don't worry about uh, for now it's gonna be like this this is gonna be the template okay then you wanna uh, create a random number this one we uh, set that to the minimum should be 250 the maximum should be on uh, 7 750 okay so i'm just gonna call that i'm just gonna label that as random num all right then you want to add a delay i just rename that as a delay okay now i'm gonna create a request okay so so far what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy this UR when you're making a config. You, you will paste it right here and you wanna copy from the host to this. You, you will do this right here, all right? That's how you know how to make a config. But for TLS, it's different, guys. Okay, for T TLS, all you add is to remove this. You gotta write one. Don't forget to add the double forward slash 127.0.0.1. Okay, and then column this. This is gonna be the port. Okay, port 9000. Where do you get this? So, this is basically the local host. You, you get it from this software, this right here, from this software. This software where uh, it's a TLS proxy version 1.51. So as you can see, serving HTTP on proxy localhost, or you can just replace this and write just and just write localhost right here. Okay, so this the localhost. It also means it also known as this one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one, and make sure that the port correspond to this port nine thousand. And this software, guys, this TLS proxy software is mandatory. It is 
highly optional and it is recommended to use it every time you uh, you create a TLS config, you debug a config or whether you crack uh, you use a config to crack accounts, this thing must be open in the background. Okay? All right. <clears throat> so, it's a get method, right? Now, what you want to do, you want to right here you're gonna write x hyphen tp hyphen ur right here and you will paste this this ur right here uh american login okay so basically this is gonna be the ur right let me see yeah uh, in the headers there's the uh, there's that all right so you're gonna paste it right here Okay, and then you wanna write x tp x hyphen tp hyphen method. You wanna add column. You wanna add get because this is a get method. So we're trying to get that. Uh, we're trying to get this the request verification token. Okay. All right. Next. You're gonna add this x tp x hyphen tp of course hyphen child not child but chid and then you're gonna add proxy right here whatever name that you gave right here like proxy in the variable name you're gonna add proxy right here okay so we have this uh we can also add x tp redirect false um, x tp read body false okay as for this one x tp child it's not proxy okay so it's hello chrome hello chrome you can do hello chrome 80 hello chrome 83 or hello chrome 110 so all you add is to just find the latest chrome version so always just go one one uh one version behind it so if chrome is like uh 120 121 always go to one step one last version let's say one obsolete version okay don't always use the latest chrome version uh, because it's not gonna be stable all right so i prefer chrome hello chrome 118 or maybe 116 okay and 110 as well works really well it it's really stable and then right here you're gonna write xtp hyphen proxy and then you're gonna add this the, the proxy goes in here okay all right, guys. All you have is to remember this. All these, all the the three simple thing for TLS. Okay. Next, let me just put my real proxy right here. Of course, I'm not gonna show you because uh, uh, otherwise you're gonna figure it out and you're gonna drain my proxy bandwidth. Yeah, this one address as you can see. And as you can see right now, all I got is go to payload and copy this request underscore request verification token value. Uh, this and then click go. As you can see, we, we can find it in the cookies and we can find it in the source as well. Right here. So we, I'm going to pass this uh, using LR mode. Okay, right here so let me just name that as rtk okay that means request verification token so just right click uh just click this button to duplicate this okay all right so as you can see this one is a post method it's a post method so you're gonna change this from get to post and right here guys okay so as you can see it become messed up right here so make sure that the xtp you are you're gonna remove this and you're gonna replace it with this one this 
and you want to make sure that this thing is post okay read body and now all i got is to just yeah uh of course i've already copied that okay so it's that all right that's good now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna copy this all right so it's that Alright, so this should be our TK and that one should be my following email, which is user city state and then zip code Okay, here we have country name, which is United States of course country uh, <clears throat> phone number so I'm just gonna add like phone okay so as you can see line one city state zip code Next, I'm gonna add a function just below the zip code and right here I'm gonna add address. So this is gonna be the line one. Okay, and this is gonna be the city. This is gonna be the state. And this is gonna be the zip code. All right. And if you want, you can add, you can also pass the line two, okay, line two as well. But that's gonna be, that's gonna, uh, that's it, okay, custom ID, okay. So here's the custom ID, guys. So we did have the custom ID right there in cookies. So yeah, you could pass that, the custom IDs, custom ID, okay. As you can see, this is the 22, 32, 27, 38 okay let's cross check it okay let's uh 22 30 33 27 38 what is it 22 33 27 38 so this is it it's rrcid okay so that's we got it from caccctl okay we got it from caccctl from this one CACCTL we got the cookies so I'm gonna pass it as cookies so that's how we pass a cookies guys okay like this so I'm gonna add I'm gonna add uh, like ID okay like CID that means CID for customer ID okay and now all I have is to duplicate this uh, duplicate Again, this is a get method. So again, I'm just gonna remove that. So yeah, this was it guys. Uh, I hope Storo was kind of helpful. Uh, please subscribe, like the video so far and ring that bell notification. If you do have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. Okay, it's your boy Yashui Gaming signing out. Uh, please subscribe to SVB. Okay, please subscribe to SVB Config Maker. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell me.